Welcome children. Today we will be doing a topic in maths. The picture on your screen says it all. It is measuring time part 1. We have a clock on our screen. The red hand which is long is called the minute hand. The green hand which is short is called as the hour hand. Now, if you look carefully, every the interval between two numbers is 5 minutes. Then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and we come back to 60. So, if one full round completed by the minute and is 1 hour. So, we say 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. And the time on my clock here is 8 o'clock. Write the time shown by the clocks in hours and minutes. The first one is 1 o'clock. The second one, the minute hand is on 8. That means the time is 40 minutes past 9. Right? When we say tell the time by hours and minutes, we mention the minutes first and the hour later. Now let's look at the next one. The minute hand is on 9 and the hour hand is between 12 and 1. So naturally we will take the number 12. So the hour is 12. So it's 45 minutes past 12. The next one, the minute hand is on 4. Hour hand is between 5 and 6. So the time is 20 minutes past 5. The next one is 40 minutes past 8. Next is 20 minutes past 2. Here the minute hand is on 6. So it is 30 minutes past 2. Minute hand is on 3. So it is 15 minutes past 3. Now we have the clock here where we know that the hour hand and the minute hand is shown. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and the time on my clock is 8 o'clock. Now if the clock, the minute hand from 12 it moves to 5. That means it has completed a quarter of the clock. It has completed quarter. It has made a quarter run. So a quarter hour is how many minutes dear children? 15 minutes. In one hour there were 16 minutes, 60 minutes. So in a quarter hour there are 15 minutes. So, a quarter past means 15 minutes past. So, thus we say the time is 15 minutes past 8 or a quarter past 8. That means after the time is 8 o'clock, the minute hand has travelled a quarter of the circle. Hence, we say a quarter past 8. So, there are two ways of saying the time. 15 minutes past 8 or a quarter past 8. Let's look at the next one. The minute hand has travelled to 6. Now that means it has travelled half the clock. So when it has travelled half the clock, it means it is 30 minutes. It has travelled 30 minutes. So it is half past. So that it has completed 30 minutes. So the time is 30 minutes past 8 or half past 8. I repeat, the time will be 30 minutes past 8 or a half past 8. The minute hand has now reached the number 9. That means the minute hand has completed 3 quarter hour, which is 45 minutes. The minute hand has to cover still another quarter of the clock to reach the next to complete the R, right? That means it is a quarter to the next R. So what will the time be read as? In this case, it is read as 45 minutes past 8 or a quarter to 9 because it has to complete another 15 minutes or another quarter to go to the next R. After 8, the next is 9 to go to the next number. Hence, we read it as 45 minutes past 8 
or a quarter to nine. For example, even when we are speaking in Hindi or in Marathi, for example, if the time is 9.45, we say Paune Das Ho Gaya Hai. Right? That means Im implying another 15 minutes more need to be completed. We have few clocks here. Let's see the time. The first one is 45 minutes past 8 or a quarter to 9. The second one will be 15 minutes past 11 or a quarter past 11. And the last third one is 4 o'clock. Fill in the blanks. Quarter past 6 will be the same as a quarter. Quarter is 15 minutes. So 15 minutes past 6. A quarter to 4 means 45 minutes past 3. That means 15 minutes are left to complete the next hour. So hence we say 45 minutes past 3. Half past 7 is same as 30 minutes past 7. So children please have it clear. A quarter to 4 means to reach 4 o'clock, the clock has, the minute hand has to move 15 minutes. So, that means it is 45 minutes past 3. Okay? Let's do the next one. It is 3.15. So, it will be 15 minutes past 3 or a quarter past 3. Next one will be, it has covered half. So, it will be. 30 minutes past 9 or a half past 9. And the last one, it will be 45 minutes past 12 or a quarter to 1. We take the next one. Children, if you observe very carefully, when it is in half, the hour hand is exactly between the two numbers. And when it is at 9, you see it is closer to the next number. So when you are marking the hands on the clock, you need to be a little careful about this. So the R hand is exactly in between the two numbers. When it is on 6, it is more towards the next number when it is on 9. And it is more toward uh, uh, just a little crossing the number 3 when it is on um, 3. That is 15 minutes. Another thing did you notice that the minute hand covers the number. Right? So, when you draw, you have to make sure you draw it like this. What is the next one? 45 minutes past 8 means dash to dash. So, it will be a quarter to 9. 15 minutes past 6 will be a quarter past 6. 30 minutes past 10 will be half past 10. Children, many times we write AM and PM. We know there are 24 hours in a day, right? We know that the first round of an hour completes at 12 o'clock, midday or noon. The second round, it completes from 12 o'clock up to midnight. The time from 12 o'clock midnight to 12 o'clock noon is called AM. Then from 12 o'clock noon to 12 o'clock midnight, it is called PM. So, AM stands for anti-meridian and PM means post-meridian. Remember, there is no AM or PM written with 12 o'clock. You will either say 12 o'clock noon or you will say 12 midnight. We never say 12 PM or 12 AM. We will say 12 noon or 12 midnight. I wake up at 6 a.m. in the Sadhya with sunrise and I sleep at 9 p.m. when the moonlight is on. Remember, there is no o'clock written with a.m. and p.m. Suppose you write 1 p.m. Either you write 1 p.m. or you write 1 o'clock. But you will not write 1 p.m. o'clock. Understood? Bear that in mind. You have to solve this exercise neatly in your Rough books. Solve this exercise too. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct time for each from the bracket. 
I eat lunch at dash 2.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. A.m. means early morning. P.m. means in the afternoon. So when do you have your lunch? So we have it at 2.30 p.m. The sun sets at 6.30 a.m. or 6.30 p.m. It sets at 6.30 p.m. A.m. it rises. My father comes back from office at 7.30 a.m. or 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. The sun rises at 5.30 a.m. or 5.30 p.m. 5.30 a.m. I eat dinner at 8.30 a.m. or 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. 2 afternoon will be 2 p.m. 8 o'clock in the morning will be 8 a.m. 6.10 in the evening will be 6.10 p.m. 4.05 after midnight will be 4.05 a.m. 9 o'clock before noon will be 9 a.m. I hope you've understood the lesson well, children. Thank you so much. Stay safe.